Skunk Works Frank here, and I'm uh, going to be going over uh, top coats and clear coats today. But just for a minute there, I want to tell you about just a brief history of me. Now, I used to go to the old Barron Institute, now it's called Lincoln Tech. So I'm qualified for body techs, all that stuff. I had a shop, okay? And competition got to be too much, so I decided to close the shop. It was just too much money invested and I'm not gonna compete with 15 different body shops trying to all scam each other out of work. So right now what I do is distribution, product demos, and producing and directing videos. Uh, right now we're working on Ethanol Wars, which is gonna be on CNET, might be going on Discovery Channel HD uh, because of the alternative energy thing. So let me get into some of the aspects behind what's on the back wall here. We're gonna be talking about top coatings and clear coats. There's three major types of clear coats, okay? What we have is, is acrylic lacquer. And acrylic lacquer is used in Japan, China, and Mexico. Most of the cheap slave labor company, uh, OEM manufacturing, okay? We're talking about OEM. What are they actually using in these facilities that's on your car? So that's acrylic lacquer, all right? Acrylic lacquer is a cheap, it's basically what's left over from like the plastic industries, the clear plastic, and then they melt it down, they kind of discombobulate different molecular structures, and that's what they come up with, it's a cheap way of, uh, a cheap way of uh, spraying paint, okay? And then in the US, for Ford, Chevy, and Chrysler, we have polyurethane, okay? Polyurethane and acrylic lacquer are both mixed with activator. The activator is mixed there. You might uh, have to put a little reducer in there. It all depends on what you're doing. If you're doing candies, if you're doing, it all depends. The body shop guys will know this. Okay, so polyurethane, okay, is, is like the same as acrylic lacquer, but it's, it's a little more upscale, okay? Then we have ceramic clears. Ceramic clears are my top choice. That's, if I'm gonna get a car, I'm gonna get a good, if I'm gonna get a car, it's gonna go in a booth, I want, I want a Euro color on there. You can also, Optimum Polymer Technologies also sell, sells a application that you could, you could actually put a, a ceramic uh, coating on the top of your clear coat already. So it make it more scratch resistant uh, on top of the, poly, on the polyurethane. You could do that as well, but you have to pr properly prepare the surface the clear coat that's on the car there, you can't just put it over and think it's gonna mask the swirls, okay? There's a process between that. Just go below where you see these videos and you'll see other videos that uh, on the Optimum and it will explain that there. But ceramic clear coats, okay? Ceramic clear coats are used in Europe, okay? They're used in Europe, overseas, in the old world, Okay, Audi, Mercedes, etc., Porsche, Ferrari, they all use ceramic clear coats. Now, seeing that you know the different types of clear coats that are on your car, which ones are the hardest, most mild to harder, hardness, okay? As you go through the scale here, okay, this is the harder, this is the mild, okay? Your acrylics are gonna be very soft, cheap. They're gonna flake, all that stuff. That's why you see the Hondas out there and the other cars as well. That's why they get really bad. That's why polyurethane really doesn't flake as much. But uh, ceramic clear coats are the best way to go and that's from mild to hardness. Uh, some of the ceramic clear coats are actually really, really set in automation here on the screen so you can see exactly what I'm talking about on how ceramic clear coats are sprayed and how when you spray them in a booth how they actually bond as particles okay it's like almost like nanoparticles and this also works as in optimum polymers ceramic clear coat this is how it all bonds together this is how it all works this is why when you put the optimum on you would want to make sure it's in a nice heated environment but Let's play the automation and see how it works. Coatings here. beautify cars and protect them. The paintwork is far more than just a layer that provides color. It is a complex coating system that protects the car from mechanical and chemical environmental impacts. A car's gloss needs to remain pristine for as long as possible. The automotive finish generally consists of four layers. 
all of the layers together are no thicker than a human hair. The bottommost layer is the cathodic electrocoat or e-coat for short. Its main job is to provide corrosion protection. The next layer is the primer, which smooths out small surface irregularities and protects the car from stone chipping. The third layer, the base coat, lends the car its actual color and provides special effects. The top layer, the clear coat, protects the car from environmental impacts, chemicals or scratches, such as those that can occur at the car wash. The special thing about BASF's iGloss Clear Coat is its combination of hard inorganic and soft organic materials. This combination significantly boosts its scratch resistance. In contrast, conventional clear coats consist primarily of organic materials. When iGloss hardens in the oven, catalysts help form so-called inorganic silicate clusters. These are hard glass-like nanoscale structures consisting of a small number of atoms that are evenly distributed and embedded in an elastic organic polymer matrix. If a car drives through the car wash, the individual bristles covered with dirt particles exert pressure on the clear coat and penetrate it. Eyegloss's organic matrix works like a lattice of elastic springs bonded to each other by means of the hard silicate clusters. This allows the bonds to expand and spring back again as soon as the pressure of the brushes subsides. This is referred to as elastic recovery or instant reflow in the trade. Compared to a conventional clear coat, while the bristles penetrate just as deeply into the top paint layer, iGloss's considerably higher level of instant reflow allows it to even out micro scratches nearly completely. This means that your car will retain its brilliant new finish even after many years. You've got an understanding of how clear coats actually work intuition with each other when they're in a paint booth and how they're sprayed at the OEM application. Um, that's why it's not really good to spray your car in your garage without baking it and stuff like that. So I have deals with guys in town here where I could still get that, uh, that clear coat type deal. So now that you've seen that the, the technology is actually getting more advanced, some people are actually going over to the ceramic side of it all where they're more harder like that video that you just seen. So. Those are the basic few things there. I'll post a few links below so you have, uh, you know, paperwork on some forums and stuff like that where you can see different types of clear coats in body shop applications. And um, I'm going to get into more videos on, on the other side of not detailing but paint correction. Uh, we don't do detailing because I don't believe that there's money involved in that. If you really want to clean your car the proper way, there's the proper methods on doing that and proper compounds and polishes to do that <coughs> so thanks for watching and I'll see you on another video